Hi, I'm Scott Perdue and welcome to Eagle Academics. This video is about how to get into and out of the Bonanza wearing a parachute because we intend to go upside down. And uh, uh, there's really no elegant way of doing this. So I'm just gonna show you how so you don't have to uh, learn it the first time around. Okay, so what we're also gonna cover is how to get out of it in an emergency. So there's normal and there's emergency. And we're gonna talk about that in detail. So please pay attention. So we have a handle here. If you haven't flown a Bonanza before, and we have a step. That's how we're gonna get up. That's pretty standard on pretty much all Bonanzas. Some of them have a step, step removed, but most of them don't. And you wanna stay on the black, of course. That's where the wing is stressed and it has non-slip surface for you. So to get in the airplane, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna use both door, door posts, the sides here, to step down. It's gonna support me as I step down, put a foot down on the floor, and then I'm gonna use the door post to slide in like this. Okay, and I can sit in the seat. You're gonna be sitting in the left seat. And uh, I'm gonna show you more of that in just a second, but as long as I'm here, I wanna talk about the door. I'm the instructor, so, or the instructor, when he's flying in place of me, will be sitting here, and it's, it's gonna be his job to clear the door and then get out, okay? So I wanna talk a little bit about the door itself. There's a red handle right here, and it's got a little uh, retainer, little metal retainer that's a pretty soft metal. And this door stop rod will be removed, okay? We won't be flying with it. But what we do, what I'm gonna do is instructor, and we have to bail out. Remember the term is, Bail out, bail out, bail out. At that point, we're not worried about the airplane anymore. We're worried about getting out of the airplane, okay? You disconnect your, uh, your shoulder harnesses, your safety harness. You throw the headset to the floor, throw it to the front, throw it to the back, get rid of it, get, get it off your head. That's the point, okay? While we're doing that, I'm gonna be reaching over and I'm gonna grab that red handle and I'm gonna pull it all the way out, okay? This handle will be closed like that. When I pull this handle all the way out, there's two pins on the uh, hinges right here. This, pulling this, retracts those pins. And then the door is gonna be really loose and it might go away of its own, but if it doesn't, I'm gonna push the front of the door this way so the relative wind will catch it and it's gonna bang against the wing and go that way. And then what I'm gonna do, because I'm sitting in the door, is I'm gonna follow it, okay? And I expect you to follow me directly. Don't waste time, get out. And don't stand up and try to walk either because who knows what the airplane's gonna be doing. It might be tumbling, it might be doing any number of things, so, uh, but it's not gonna be flying straight and level, more than likely. So what I want you to do is I want you to crawl out. And that means, and I'm not gonna actually do it because I might scratch the paint and I don't wanna do that, and I might fall. But the idea is I'm gonna crawl out like this onto the wing, on my belly, and I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna crawl or slide off the uh, trailing edge of the wing. And the whole purpose of this is, like I said, I'm trying to get traction in an in a unusual situation here. And uh, there's gonna be, there could be some high lateral Gs uh, and stuff like that. But I also wanna miss that horizontal. I don't wanna stand up and try to <laughs> crawl out or walk out in the wind and then jump off the, off the wing because there's that horizontal tail right over there. It's only about nine feet away. And I don't want to hit it, because that would hurt. So I'm gonna jump out, on, or I'm gonna crawl out on the wing like this, and I'm gonna crawl out, and once I'm clear of the airplane, I'm gonna do my stabilizing maneuver, and then uh, reach for the uh, D-ring, which is right here, okay? Don't touch that, unless you have to. You're in the left seat, you've gotten rid of your seat belt and shoulder harness, and the headset, and I want you to crawl out right behind me. Whatever it takes, push off with your feet against the back wall. Whatever it takes, grab onto this, pull yourself out onto the wing, belly first, and slide off, the t off that, okay? That's how we get out of this thing in emergency. Uh, as long as we talked about emergencies, before we talk about strapping in, uh, let's talk about how to get out of it normally. Door's gonna be open, and uh, then what you're gonna do is just slide over to the seat like this. I'm gonna put my hand on the sill, hand on the door post, and then I'm gonna stand up a little bit, kinda of like I was when I was getting down. I'm gonna lean against the back shoulder right here, and then uh, lever myself up and stand up. So I'm gonna use the door post, the sill, and the other door post and stand up. 
and then I'm going to walk down normally. Not a big deal. Grab this handle. Bonanza guys don't step on the flap. And then onto the step, and then off the airplane. Another view on the black. Step sideways, brace yourself. Left foot in, crawl inside, and then lever yourself in. All right, just as a quicker, uh, with this view here, you can see the door handle, the red door handle a little better, and uh, how that works with its little retainer, retainer you pull it out. Pulls two little pins, and then the door's free, off it goes. Uh, souvenir in a farmer's farm, uh, farmyard. All right, so closing the door, there's a little handle right here, and you close it when it's open, when this latch is open. And to open the door, if it's closed, it's going to look like that. It's going to have the green light says, or the green banner that says closed. You push the button on the door handle in, turn it 90 degrees, you hear the click, and it releases the pins here and there. And uh, that's, that's what shuts the door. I have a general rule of thumb flying Bonanzas is that the pilot, the guy in the left seat, always closes the door. It's kind of his responsibility. So, uh, and it's also because the person in the right seat really doesn't have the leverage to be able to get the door good and closed. And you want to do that. You got to get the door good and closed because otherwise it's going to pop open. And in a regular checkout, uh, it's not a big deal. When the door pops open, it's discerning, it's disconcerting and, uh, and uh, distracting for sure. It's not a big deal. If it pops open, you just come back and land and shut it. It's not a big deal. And it's also one of those things we do in a checkout. But it's something you want to avoid. You don't want to have to do that. Rule, number, rule is the pilot shuts the door. Okay? All right. So now we're going to talk about strapping in. This is a better, better look at the uh, door handle. This is the handle right here. It's just got a really thin piece of aluminum as a metal retainer. It's uh, not much strength to it. It's not a big deal. And this is the door handle. Okay? Push the button in. That's closed. You see the little green badge? Push it in, open it, hear the click, and now you got the red, and uh, that's how that works. Okay? So, as I'm sliding in this airplane, until um, we get a regular uh, overhead shoulder harness, uh, over the shoulder shoulder harnesses installed, we're using these hooker harnesses. They're called a quickie. And it goes through the regular uh, seat belt harness and attaches to the rear seat. Okay, so we're going to keep the rear seats in uh, because of that, because I, I like having shoulder harnesses. The, uh, the regular Bonanza ones are fine for uh, normal use, but for aerobatics and spins and things like that, I think it's better to have this. So what I do is I grab them both in my hand like this. This one's already threaded through the seat belt. I grab them in, the, in my hands like this, slide over, slide that over my head, align that. So now I have it like this. Make sure the straps are all not, not twisted up or anything like that. I'm going to feed the uh, right shoulder harness through. I'm going to give myself some slack like that. Then I'm going to grab my seat belt buckle like that. And I'm going to All right. Now, the good thing is, yeah, it's it's wedged me in here real good, and I like that. Uh, I like being <laughs> attached to the airplane, especially if I'm going to pull some G's. I can reach the radio fine. I can reach all the instruments here, and uh, what I can't reach is the circuit breakers over there. I can reach the gear handle fine. So all the stuff that I really need. Plus, you're going to have an instructor sitting in the right seat, and he'll be able to reach all that stuff over there on the right side. It's not a problem. So that's it right there. The uh, interference is the the, uh, the yoke's going to come all the way out here. So this is full travel right there, left and right. That's full travel. So it should not be a problem. Okay, 
for getting out. The, uh, in this airplane, the uh, headsets, I'm just going to demonstrate that. Quite often you're going to have this latch, this little clip uh, holding the uh, cord on so it doesn't get in the way of everything. And in this airplane, uh, the headsets are down between our legs on the, uh, the uh, console at the center section. So when it comes time to, uh, if, we, if we had that word, bailout, 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 then the first thing you're going to do, flip this up, throw this to the, get rid of that, throw this down on the floor or on that, on that shelf uh, there in front of the, uh, the center section. Okay, so we got rid of that. Next thing is we're going to lift the, it's just a standard uh, airline style belt, uh, seat belt buckle. Lift it up. It's good. You're going to have to thread this through the right side and throw it off like that. Okay, you can leave it attached to the left side. It's not a big deal. And then we're going to crawl out of the airplane. So you don't have to reach that far. You can just hand it with your hand here. There's not going to be a door. Grab it with both hands. Get on your belly, crawl out, and get out of the airplane. Okay, that's norm. That's the abnormal uh, situation. Normal situation is, I don't throw the headset. I take it off and I put it down on the shelf. Um, you know, and I just pop it and I do the uh, the right side of the shoulder harness just like I did. It's not a big deal. And then I'm going to slide over into the right seat. Parachute does add some extra distance, so it's a bit of a pain to do that. And then. Uh, and then I'm just going to get out normally. Not a big deal. We already took a look at how to do that. So that's getting in and out of the Bonanza with a uh, parachute. And well, I think that about covers it. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask your instructor. And uh, we want to make sure you you know and remember uh, these important things, important details. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Flywire. No elegant away. Missed the flap.